first mock draft came out today. This is a big deal because you actually do like real research, right? This is uh, this is how you're feeling. This is what you're thinking at the moment. How much has changed in the past from your first to your second, and how accurate are you normally? Yeah, no, and this is what I kind of position it as. I would never, I would, I don't have the hubris to come out here and be like, oh, hey, I, I, I'm a scout, or I do hip swivel, or I can break down a 40 time why it matters. My best asset is I talk to everybody in the league. I've got a phone, I've got access, and it, people won't tell me who they're taking directly, but I'll get the feel for oh. talking to a head coach or talking to a general manager. Detective. Here's what they're looking oh, for, yes. and here's the type of player they're looking for. And this guy, this player would be off their board. This way, then you start hearing the rumors from the other ones. Well, I hear at the pro day, this guy was talking about this guy. I think I've got yeah. as good a sources when it comes to this stuff as anybody, and my mock draft tends to be as accurate. But I don't come at it as, here's what I would do if I'm Seattle with the ninth pick. I do it as... Here's what people around the league think Seattle's going to do with the ninth pick. So I look at it that way. If you want accuracy and you want kind of insights you're not getting everywhere else, that's my mock draft. If you want what the scouts and those, there's a lot of mock drafts for that as well. Okay, well, let's dive right into it, Treggs. I'm excited to go through it. Number one overall, Hutchinson. Everybody just, that's a foregone conclusion, right? No, no. I actually have heard that. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Why'd you put it on the thing then? I think I think when it's all said and done, it's him. But I hear they're far from uh, deciding who's number one. I heard that there's actually a lot of fans in that building of Trayvon Walker, wow. who I've got going all the way down to number seven. But Trent Balky historically, as a general manager, has not drafted based on college production. He drafts on, let me see the athletic ability. Let me see what we can get in the unlimited potential. Remember, Alden Smith was a pick that he had in San Francisco. A lot of people were like, top 10, Alden Smith. Then he went out there and had 18 sacks as rookie year and was an absolute freak. So Trent Balky the wild card there. But uh, I would think it's pass rusher, either Hutchinson or Walker for the number one pick. And then you got Thibodeau going second overall to Detroit. There has been conversations about maybe a quarterback going there. Why do you think defensive end? I think when it's all said and done, Detroit is the place that would take Thibodeau. I don't think he's for everybody. His cup of tea is very confident young man and he said some things that might not fit with some other coaches and general managers. I think Dish, Detroit Dish. makes sense. Yeah. But I've heard... I've heard from folks that uh, Malik Willis could very well be the second overall pick. That like the, the Lions are completely open book right now, and they have not tipped their uh, their cap or shown their cards as far <laughs> as being out of the quarterback market. Evan Neal, first offensive lineman taken to the Houston Texans out of Alabama, number three overall. Everybody's impressed with Evan Neal. Why do you think Houston? Yeah, that one right there, I think that could be the best player available. I think at the end of the day, I think Neil might go before Aquanu as uh, the pick. And Houston's basically, it's like an expansion team right now. They're rebuilding from the ground up, and that's a good cornerstone. Yikes. Hey, Lovey. We love Lovey. Hey, Lovey. Yeah. We we'll get him. Love, good Lovey. Luck, love Lovey. the people in Houston. Hey, we love you down there. Good luck. Loud building, loud house. Those fans for a long time have had to heard. Be patient. I think they'll tell you that. They'll tell you that's a that's a rebuilding situation. They've got the fourth and the third, the third and the fourteenth pick. They can't screw it up. Well, actually, I mean, not that the Texans would, but no. uh, teams have in the past. Ahmad Gardner, corner for the Jets. Why and how? Yeah. So for uh, this is making a lot of news in New York because people know I'm plugged in because I talk to Sala and Douglas a lot. <laughs> this is a. Uh, this is the one where Sauce is like a surefire thing, and they're going to get a surefire pro at fourth overall. And I think when it's all said and done, he might be the biggest slam dunk in this draft as far as you know what you're getting, cleanest prospect on and off the field, uh, and he's been interviewing incredibly well. I, I don't think they're going to take a project at four, and I don't think offensive line. I think they actually believe in Becton. So if you're looking at it that way, Walker might be a bit of a project. Thibodeau might be a bit of a project. We're not sure what we're getting there. Sauce Gardner, he's the guy at four. Congrats to Sauce, going to be a Jet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh. That's basically what everybody in New York is saying, huh? Because Peter Schrager said, oh, this guy knows <laughs> everything. Right. Let's, start, right. let's start learning about old Sauce Gardner. While you're in the middle of that, Tiger Woods rimmed out on a birdie oh. putt. I mean, it was. Halfway hey, down. That thing was tracking, tracking, tracking out there. Congrats to Sauce. Icky going to the Giants. Uh, okay, you just assume that they're going to take an offensive lineman because their offensive line has been terrible. Icky out of NC State. I got to meet him at uh, Radio Row. Incredibly cool dude Great and kid. a monster, Peter. Monster. Yeah. And it's crazy. He was un like wasn't a high recruit. His twin brother plays at Notre Dame. That was everyone's guy. And then He's just an absolute beast and a great kid, as you got to know. So Giants are in true best player available for five and seven. They're in the same kind of mode, as mentioned the Texans, where they just want players. They need to fill that roster with young talent. They're excited for that. Kenny Pickett going to Carolina. Mitt had that on his mock mm -hmm. on 1.0 last yeah. week. <laughs> Seems like that's a very 
Like, you're not the only one saying Kenny Pickett at six. There's a lot of mocks saying that. Is that just because Carolina's desperate and Kenny Pickett, they view as the top quarterback in the draft? Yeah, there's connections here, too. Matt Rule recruited him to Temple originally, so they have a connection. And David Tepper uh, is worth $14 billion. He's got his name on buildings all over the University of Pittsburgh. Kenny Pickett went to Pitt. So there's something there. But I'll tell you this, uh, to a man, nobody thinks Kenny Pickett or any of these quarterbacks are worthy of, like, the hype of last year's quarterback class. And there was five guys. So this feels like a bit of a stretch, but it might just be, hey, Rule, McAdoo, these guys need to start winning now. They need to put their name on a quarterback at some point. It can't be this rotating door. Sam Darnold said on Bussin' with the boys that he knows he's a good so. quarterback or whatever the case mm -hmm. is. He just needs to find it. I'm pretty pumped that he still has the confidence. Yeah. yeah. Like, honestly, because this league can kill you. It can bury yeah. you. Maybe Kenny sits behind and learns for a year or whatever. Uh, yeah, and I think, the you know, Matt Corral's a name to look at also at number six overall. And He's oh, not a name that everyone's oh. thrown in there. He's the Ole Miss quarterback, but he's got a ton of swagger, and it's like, Darnold, I, I don't even blame him. The situation he was in in New York, it's almost like what Daniel Jones is going through right now where it'll beat you up, this market, and the yeah. losses compile, and if you don't have an offensive line, it'll destroy you. But you get that second chance. You've got to shine, and I don't think he did uh, the job that the Panthers were hoping for last year. Trayvon Walker, you're saying just best available for the Giants. He could potentially so. go one overall or seven. Good day to be Trayvon Walker. Congrats, yeah. Bob. Yeah. And then Jermaine Johnson at eight out of Florida State. Last chance, you guy. What a freak show athlete he is. Freak show, and it's amazing. I've got five Georgia players going from the defensive side of the ball in, the, in my first round. He was a Georgia guy, too, and he transferred to Florida State. But he's awesome. This kid is an unbelievable pass rusher. Eight might be a little rich, but I felt like Atlanta needing to get a guy that they can say, hey, this is our defensive guy. This is the dude. He's the best on the board. Offensive tackle Charles Cross out of Mississippi State to Seattle Seahawks, and then Jamison Williams out of Alabama back to the Jets. Kyle Hamilton falls to 11. Mm, you know, he wow. ran, what, a 4-7 or something yeah, the other yeah, well, day. Going at 11, good for him. And then Derek Stingley Jr. at LSU, he just ran a 4-3-7 yesterday going to Minnesota. Devin Lloyd out of Utah. Trevor Penning going to Baltimore. Drake London to Philly at 15. Well, Mitz Mock had that maybe Maybe trade up in the top 10, mm -hmm. uh, maybe go to Green Bay or something like that. <laughs> and then Garrett Wilson, wide receiver out of Ohio State, goes before Olave to the Saints. Well, how come this batch right here? And are any of these yeah. more, are you more confident in any of these than others? There's going to be a run on receivers right about here. And one of them might go top 10, maybe eight to Atlanta, but there's going to be a run on receivers. And all these guys are going to go from like eight to 20. I have Jamison Williams going as the first one taken. And I think I'm the only person out there who's got that now. But the more we get to know this wide receiver class, the more he's viewed as maybe the best long-term. The ACL was a major, major scare to a lot of people toward in the college football playoffs. But this is 2022, and ACL is not a career definer. It is not a career ender. And I think the Jets looking for the best long-term guy. I think Jamison Williams is the cleanest across the board, even with the injury. And then you could stack them how you want with London and Wilson and Olave, and you can even throw in uh, Traylon Burks from Arkansas, who we're going to get to. But I, I think Will Williams is going to shock people, 10 to the Jets. Don't be so shocked if he goes top 10. 4-7 for Kyle Hamilton. Didn't scare you or any of the people you're talking to at all out of Notre Dame? No, I, I don't think that's a that's a tremendous fear. I don't think he's going top five, but I think he'll go in the top 15 for sure. Okay, let's look at the next batch here from Peter Schrager's 2022 mock draft 1.0. Here's Chris right here going to the Chargers. Congrats to Herbert. God, damn. Wow. wow. Get another weapon. Another one. Hey, hold on. You dropped something. Speaking of the Chargers, you dropped something the other day uh, about Keenan Allen maybe being on the trade block strictly because you looked at the contract with how much Mike Williams is getting paid. Yeah, how, how That caused some ripple effects, by the way, because everybody in Green Bay was like, Wait a second. whoa, whoa, whoa. Is he going to end up as Packer? Because Mark Murphy said draft night could get interesting. Well, can you elaborate a little bit more on what you said the other yeah. day on Good Morning Football? Well, about I was Keenan looking Allen? at the contracts, and you know everybody looks at, at DK Metcalf and A.J. Brown and Debo Samuel and even Terry McLaurin because they're in the final years of their contract, but that's their rookie contract. Keenan Allen's making a ton of money, uh, and he's in the final year of his contract, making close to $20 million. I said they just paid Mike Williams, got this great wide receiver class, but I have since been told by sources – in that building, that that's that's not the beat they're playing. They're actually going for it this year, and Keenan Allen's a key piece to it. So okay. I threw the wow. name out there, All but right. I've been since told by them that, hey, that's that's an erroneous report. And I said, it wasn't a report. It was a suggestion. And let's see. But, uh, yeah, Keenan Allen, he has nothing to worry about. He's going to stay in the Chargers. By the way, <laughs> as we talked about you talking about it yesterday, we said the entire time, I believe Schrager's just strictly mm -hmm. looking at the contracts here. He does not have yeah. any sources saying yeah. this. Let's get, back to your, let's get back to your draft. Chris is there. Trent McDuffie, Jordan Davis. Here we go. Yeah. I love 
love this dude. I, I want him to go number one overall, this fucking guy. <laughs> six six three forty one or something yeah. like that. Ran a four eight, had a twelve foot broad jump. This dude is awesome. Good for the Saints picking him up. Who else likes him? Anybody sweet? Anybody you hearing a lot of talk about him? A lot of teams like him, but the question is, you know, are you getting the three forty guy who could play three downs, or are you getting the three sixty guy who was at Georgia last year? who against Alabama in the SEC championship game uh, or when they played him in the regular season, couldn't stay on the field because he was out of breath. Like there's questions about him. Discipline. Let's go, Jordan. He's done a great job interviewing. He's done a wonderful job uh, getting his body right. But you're talking about a guy who might not play for you three downs. And the argument is, look at Vita Vea. Look how good he is. Yeah, but there's a long history of Terrence Cody and plenty other guys at that size that is it worth taking in the top 20. I love Jordan Davis. I think a lot of teams do. But defensive tackles, just not the position necessarily that teams take in the top 10 these days. Tiger Woods almost hit a fucking hole in one. <laughs> yeah. right We're talking and I'm like, talking about Jordan Davis's 40 times. No, no, this is going to live on for eternity. But he was like a foot away. I mean, it was bump, 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 bump. bump. Bounced up early, checked up. He's a oh. foot away from a hole in one here. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, Tiger. Come on. All right, let's get back to this. Jordan Davis, hey. Get disciplined, dude. There's so much money out there for you. I think Robert Mathis, he put out a tweet. Hey, this guy, if you do the right stuff, there's a lot of money out there for you, Jordan. Can't wait to watch you take the next step in the NFL. And then obviously a 20 here. A lot of people watching this are going to be interested by this. Malik Willis to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah. They do not have to trade up. He actually falls all the way to 20, you think? Yeah, I think there's a chance he does. He can go as high as two. He can go to eight to Atlanta. He can go six to Carolina. But there's only so many teams that are going to be playing for a quarterback in that first round. Seattle, maybe. Um, Pittsburgh sitting pretty reminds me of Mac Jones last year in, in New England. No one thought Mac would be sitting there at 15. They took him. They've got their quarterback of the future. Didn't have to trade future draft capital to do it. So if he's sitting there at 20, even if Trubisky and Mason Rudolph are on the roster, I think Malik Willis would be a nice pick there, and he doesn't have to play right away. Other big-time picks that we should look at, 22 Green Bay Packers taking wide receiver Traylon Burks out of Arkansas. Oh, He's going to be a player. Athletic go. freak. Debo comparisons. Yep. Pig Suey! called the hogs over here at green bay <laughs> he's gonna love it uh can't thank you enough shrinks for doing this mock draft i don't know what the rest of it is we probably don't know who the guys are but i can't wait yeah. to see 2.0 1.0 was just glorious <laughs>